Hello. Well, um, I'm going to talk about something I haven't talked about in a while. Star Wars. More specifically, um, I'm going to talk about the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, miniseries that's going to be out uh, next year, I believe, or they'll be filming it next year. Um, all I can say is, um, I'm not really excited for it, um, and the reason is because it's a miniseries. Um, for me, um, the whole thought of an Obi-Wan spin-off, like a film, which was talked about amongst fans for a long time, <clears throat> when it came to do other, all these spin-offs and stuff, but now they've since, you know, pulled back on uh, such things. Um, but honestly, I don't know, I feel like a miniseries is really milking it. Um, I mean, a lot of fans wanted an Obi-Wan film. Um, I kind of thought it would be interesting to see an Obi-Wan movie. Um, see what he did between 3 and 4. Any sort of conflict he might have gotten on Tatooine. Uh, I know many people are like, oh, would have loved to have seen Darth Maul and Obi-Wan fight. But apparently that can never happen because we saw that conflict in Rebels, or I never really watched Rebels. I saw it on YouTube, that little thing, and I wasn't really impressed. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, because I... I Again, I haven't I haven't really seen Rebels much, so maybe if I had uh, watched that show, maybe I would have you know uh, liked it more. But just not being interested in that show much, I didn't really you know I don't know just that the way that all ended, I didn't really care. But, you know, I feel a miniseries will just sort of, like, take this initial want fans, you know, wanted to see, and just stretching it for as much as they can do um, for however many weeks or episodes, I guess I should say, because streaming services will be on um, Disney+. Plus. Um, and, yeah, it's like you... I don't know, I, I, I just don't think it would be wise to have an 8 or 10 episode miniseries about Obi-Wan on Tatooine. I don't know, I just... It, it, the, I don't know, the, it's just, it doesn't sound like a good idea. Now that we have... Uh, uh, confirmation that something with Obi-Wan will happen. Um, I don't know. Uh, all the scripts are written also. So it's not like, oh, we have ideas and we've begun to write out the episodes or we've been in the process for a while, but we're just now finally announcing it. Starting to write the episodes for a month or two now, after we finally nail down a story and everything, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it, they, they seem to be wanting to, you know, push this for the sake of the Disney streaming service is another thing why I'm not totally into it. I mean, I have the Star Wars movies, I have most of the Marvel films, I don't have all of them, but I've I've seen all of them, and I have most of them, and I don't know, I I don't know what Disney Plus will offer me that I can't get, aside from this Obi-Wan series, I mean, there's The Mandalorian, which is another Star Wars show, which I've seen the trailer, and that looks good, um, but for something like that, I could wait if there's like a DVD or a Blu-ray release, in the future, uh, of like 
first season of The Mandalorian, of the mini series of Obi Wan. You know, a lot of people like it, and you know, an actual people, not people who just like are like critics. You know, because critics and say they can praise a lot of stuff. Sometimes they praise things just nowadays, just so they can continue seeing films for free. Um, by studios. Um, like if they say they don't like a certain movie, well, that could decrease their chances of ever seeing a new movie from said studio because they didn't like something that was made a few years before ago or a year ago or some months ago. Well, they don't want them to review their movie uh, or they have to at least pay for it they have to see it the opening day and only then can they actually write a review um, stuff like that I mean that's another thing it's like you know some critics aren't very reliable nowadays um, regarding some of the entertainment out there not just for the movies I'm sure it also applies to TV also I don't know. I feel this is really milking Obi-Wan. The fans of Star Wars who wanted a spin-off of Obi-Wan get Ewan McGregor back, and he is back, and I'm, I no doubt he will do a great job. And I'm sure they pitched him a story, or maybe he's read all the scripts since they're done, and I'm sure he, were, he committed to it because he thought, this is good, you know, I like this. Because he doesn't seem to be an actor who would just do something for the sake of, I'm getting paid a lot of money. Because you look a lot of his filmography and stuff, and he doesn't do a whole lot of blockbusters for the most part. Um, Star Wars, um, he did like a Michael Bay movie. He does, he's done some blockbusters here and there, but... I don't know. There, there, I th he f seems like an actor to me that seems like something has to interest him in order to do it. It can't just be like getting a big paycheck. But there has to be something there that for him he saw was interesting. At least in the initial concept and whether the end product was you know, not good at the very least. Um, you know... It, you know, maybe he, what he was pitched and the material he had was initially good, but then maybe the end product wasn't good. Um, you know, that can happen. But, you know, Ewan McGregor seems like an actor who, if there's a film that looks good, or that seems good, or any project, because he did Fargo uh, miniseries, you know, it seems good, looks good, he likes it, he will, you know, go and do a project regardless of how the end product turns out, if people like it or not. Um, so I'm sure he was, he is on board, like he likes whatever he was pitched, whatever he has read, if he has read any script. Um, he was sold on something. Something about uh, how Obi-Wan is going to be portrayed in this series, this miniseries, what will happen. It intrigues him. I don't, I don't know what they'll do. None of us do. It won't come out until the very earliest next year. But that's when they're going to film the thing, I believe. So maybe fall of next year, we will, that, that will come out. I won't see it. Um, people will have to say it's good and reliable people for me in order to f either get it on DVD, Blu-ray when it comes out, or find it elsewhere on the internet, because, you know, that's going to happen. Stuff like that gets streamed is somewhere on the internet. You know, you can always find uh, some show or movie on the internet somewhere. So, yeah, that's uh, me. Uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think they're milking uh, the fans' 
trying to get them to go to Disney Plus, milk the fans for more, and milking out this want of an Obi Wan project, or not, or are you all for this, or are you on the fence? Um, yeah, if it was just a movie, I would have probably been a lot more enthused. I will say that I. I thought a movie would have been fine for like two, two and a half tops of Obi-Wan, some sort of conflict. It could have been like even a character-driven thing, too. Would have been interesting. Some thought even maybe like a neo-Western type thing, like how Logan was, in a way, like a character study. Of sort of like that as a template of what could be an influence of how to portray this a character in a basically a standalone uh, film that could have been interesting. I know there's some thought, oh, a trilogy of films with Obi Wan. Like a trilogy, I don't know about that. I mean, <laughs> be a bit uh, overboard, in my opinion. Um, you know, we're going, we're just really trying to. <laughs> you know milk this character for what we can and it just seems like that's what they're doing now so that's all I have to say again yeah you agree disagree want to comment as to why you agree or disagree you may do so um, but anyway uh I hope to talk about episodes 2 and 3 in the coming weeks, and in November, talk about Star Wars, the original trilogy. Uh, I haven't done any of those individually. I did one earlier this year for the 20th anniversary, and I thought, you know what? Why not just get out the rest of the uh, films? Uh, because why not? Uh, could be cool and fun. Uh, just to do, just do a retrospective on those so hope to get all those out done because October as I said I want to do horror stuff horror movies yeah like at least four horror movies for every Friday of October so yeah um haven't done Star Wars in a while and I thought this would be a good time to do it so there you go uh that's all I gotta say I hope you all have a good day, have a good weekend, have a good week, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.